Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello to you new people too. Today I'm going to be sharing the Pale Girls Guide to Nude Lipsticks. A quick note about the Pale Girls Guide. I'm just trying to focus on things that I know about like my pale skin. So to me, somebody is pale or fair skinned, if they wear like the couple lightest shades in a foundation range, if they have to add white to their foundation like I normally do, to me that means the person is pale or fair or porcelain or whatever you want to call it. But don't despair, just because this is a pale, pale girl's guide to nude lipsticks doesn't mean that you might not like the lipsticks that I feature or that the colors might not look good on you if you're a different skin tone. I've had some people come to me and say, I don't think this person is pale and I am not here to be the pale police. So that is not what this is about. So to begin, these are my nude lips and they're a little bit red and irritated because I just exfoliated them and put on a lip balm so that they would be nice and soft because we're gonna swatch a whole bunch of things and probably hurt my lips. <laughs> Okay, first color I'm going to show you is Urban Decay. This color is Violate. It's like a pale pinky color with a purple undertone. My application for this video is probably not gonna be perfect because I'm not using a pencil. I just wanna show you these colors and how they look on me. If I ever know, don't know what to wear, this is the color I reach for. And this is a color that often lives in my makeup bag because I do love it so much. If you just want like a nice clean look with just you know a little bit of mascara or your brows done, I would also recommend this color. It's a very office safe color, but I feel like it's because it has like that purple undertone, it has like a little bit of a fun twist to it, so I love it. This is one of my must-have lipsticks from Urban Decay. The next color from Urban Decay is Back Talk, and this is kind of like a pale light pink color. There's also a shade very similar to this in the NARS line. I believe it's called Anna. It's on me, I feel like it looks sort of like a pink that's a little bit dusty. It's a matte finish. Until Violet came out, this was my go-to Urban Decay color when I didn't know what to wear. Basically, this is Anna and this is Violet and this one just has more of like a warmer pink to it. So the next color I want to show you is NARS Stripped. This is in the Velvet Lip Glide formula. On me, it's like a pale peachy nude. This is NARS Bound. This is more of a pinky nude. See, it's kind of a dusty pink on me. If you compare it to Stripped, it definitely looks more like a dusty pink. I really like the shine in this. When the shine wears off, you're left with sort of like a more matte, satin matte stain. It's very comfortable to wear. So if you're looking for a new liquid lipstick formula, this is probably the most, this is one of the best formulas that came out of 2016. This is Sugar Pill Kimchi. So if you are fond of the, I just died like that, lip color, this is for you. I really like this color. It's kind of like a gray lavender and it's actually apparently the color my lips turn when I black out and have a seizure. My husband, when he saw me wear this after my last seizure uh, right, right before Christmas was like, please don't wear that for a while. That's exactly the color of your lips. So I was like, oh, okay, I won't wear it for a while because I personally really do like the color a lot. It's definitely great if you want that, you know, living dead girl look. Next up is Tarte Texas Toast. This was part of the Bunny collaboration, Graveyard Girl. I actually love this color on me so, so much. I think it's super flattering, even though it is a darker nude color. Texas Toast. You can see that it's basically like a pink that has some brown tones to it and even a little bit of a gray undertone. So the next set of colors are from the Bare Minerals Gen Nude line. And these are all pretty much fantastic. They are very moisturizing on the lips. They are not very long wear. So, you know, you're gonna need to use a lip pencil with them, but you will love how they feel on your lips. And pretty much, I think all the colors look fantastic. So this is Bubbles and it's like a peachy pink nude. And after all the swatching I just did, this feels like heaven on my lips. It's just such a nice color. Um, so moisturizing, you can see it on the back of my hand. This is Crush. It's sort of like a neutral pinky nude. I feel like on me, it still shows a little bit of like a peach tone. You can see it, it's the bottom swatch here. This one is Tutu. This one can work as like a My Lips But Better, like it has a hint more pink to it that I think more closely matches my lip color. Put it here as the bottom swatch. This is Crave and Crave has like a the barest hint of like mauve to it or mauve, whatever you want to call it. And here it is down here in my hand. This one is Mantra, and I think it's like a deeper mauve pink. It's the bottom swatch here. So the next one is from Nude Sticks. I absolutely love this color. It's called Pulse. It's sort of like a plummy nude. Again, it's on the hydrating side, and I feel like if you want something super easy for, if you're just like, you know, running out the door, this is a great color. It's also perfect if you have a smoky eye going on, because it gives you just a little bit of like depth. 
Here's what it looks like on my hand. Oh, I forgot. I did want to show you two of the other um, Bare Metals Gen Nudes. These are the matte liquid lip colors. They smell delicious. They smell kind of like a vanilla or chocolate frosting. This color is Slay, and this is probably the most comfortable, long-wearing liquid lipstick formula you will ever try. It's even more comfortable than the Jouer, which I, I do love, absolutely love. And so this is Slay in the back of my hand. And God, the smell. It makes me hungry. It makes me want cake. So this one is Swag, and Swag is basically a deeper version of Slay. So here is Swag on my hand and on my lips. So the next color I have for you is Bite Thistle, and this is like a gray lavender taupe color. I love this one. I love the, the gray tones in it. I think it's beautiful. Um, so gorgeous. And it has like a slight citrus scent that actually smells like citrus to me. You can see it here on the back of my hand, so you can see like the pink and the gray tones. So the next color I have is Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Bruja. This is another one of those like grayed lavender taupe nudes. I think it has like more pink in it than the previous color I just showed you. And here it is swatched on the back of my hand, this bottom color, and on my lips. And if you're wondering like what pencil, like lip pencil goes really well with this type of color, I would use ColourPop Marshmallow because it's like that perfect sort of grayed lavender color. It's not gonna change the shade of this too much. It's really gonna work with it. And the next color is ColourPop Ultra Satin in Marshmallow. Same color family. Here it is swatched on the back of my hand and here it is on my lips. I really like this color. I actually bought a backup, which I never do anymore. So this is Makeup Geek Plush Cream in BFF. And I think this is a pretty good one to include. This, this one is definitely more on like the peachy, the peachy pink side, like the pale peachy pink side. I, it makes me think of like um, if you were in school, like the back of like a pencil eraser, that sort of pinky color. Uh, here it is on the back of my hand and on my lips. This one is Makeup Geek Old Soul. Again, it's the plush cream formula. I don't really feel like the plush matte formulas have any nudes that I can wear. Here's Old Soul swatched on the back of my hand and on my lips. This is Makeup Geek Trailblazer. And this is another one of those sort of mauve gray colors. Here it is swatched on the back of my hand and on my lips. I, I love this kind of color. This whole living dead girl thing is my thing. So I wanted to include some Silk Naturals in here. This is the color Stripped. Here it is on the back of my hand. I think it's like a great pink nude. This is Silk Naturals Vice. Here it is on the back of my hand and on my lips. This one definitely, definitely has more like orange terracotta tones. This is 90s. This one is definitely more of like a deep pink nude. It has like almost, I don't know, it almost has like brown, like a, it almost has taupe undertones. Here it is in the back of my hand and on my lips. This last look natural's color is underground. And here it is swatched on the back of my hand right here. You can see it's kind of like a gray brown taupe and on my lips. My lips are dying and I'm already starting to break out from the constant like reapplication and wipe off. Next up is Jouer Tawny Rose. This is such a beautiful color and I, I bought it not even sure if it was gonna be great on me. And Jouer's Matte Liquid Lipstick Formula is my favorite matte liquid lipstick that does not budge. And Tawny Rose is, here it is in the back of my hand, but it's kind of like what it sounds like. It's kind of like a rosy nude. It's definitely a beautiful shade. And I feel like I get the most compliments lately when I wear Tawny Rose or Bronze Rose. I also wanted to show you Jouer Dulce de Leche. It's more of a pinky beige in comparison. You can see it here on the back of my hand and on my lips. Next is Delium Tools Helen of Troy, and this is a pink. It's a very soft, cool toned pink with a little bit of nude. Here it is on the back of my hand and on my lips. And last I have three Ofra shades for you. The first one is Angelus. This is probably about the closest I can get to concealer, concealer lips. Here it is on the back of my hand. You can see it's definitely beige with like pink and peach tones. This is Ofra Staten Island. You can see it here on the back of my hand. And this is Ofra Tuscany. Here it is on the back of my hand and on my lips. This is probably the deepest of all the nudes. It's like this deep mauve pink nude with like gray brown undertones. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing my picks for the best nudes for pale skin. 
please be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a thumbs up and share. I love it when you share my videos. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching.